Welcome back. Our next guest are joining us from Big Big Coffee, which you may have seen popping up a lot all over town lately. Yeah, a lot of growth here in central Indiana. Welcome to yeah. franchisee Leslie Peterson from the Sunnyside Big B Coffee location, the newest one, and James Getz, who are here to tell us what you can enjoy on their menu. Guys, welcome Hi, to the show. How are you Hi. guys? How are you doing? Hi. It's great to be here. It's so great to yeah. have you here. I've been a big fan of this for a while. In fact, this brings me back to my first market when I was in central Illinois, and I'm so excited you guys are growing. So tell us about a bit about the business. I would say uh, Big B Coffee has been around for about 27 years, and so uh, uh, in the Indianapolis area now for about six or seven. So we got seven locations, our yeah. eighth one in production. Um, but one of the big things with us is we're all locally owned um, yeah. and mm -hmm. operated, so we're part of your community, and we also very important for us to give back to the community as well, also too. And so we're part of uh, you know, schools, churches, uh, business councils, and yeah. stuff like that. Try to get place like Susie's Place yes. and Shelter and Wings and stuff like that's that. Great. Love that um, it's locally uh, owned. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. amazing. That is a big factor. I know a lot of people mm -hmm. like those uh, local spots. And Leslie, you're the newest store we out are. in Sunnyside. Yes, Congratulations we're out in Sunnyside. On that. We opened in April, so we've been open just about two months now, that's and it's awesome. going yes. great. Good. So yeah, we've been having a lot of fun and serving a lot of great people. So we've it. met so many people since we've been doing yeah. this. A lot of people know about the coffee, but that's not all you have. What'd no. you bring here today? <laughs> yeah, so no, we um, uh, yeah we are definitely more than just coffee. We've got like our uh, our our energy blast drinks. That's our paradise right there. Okay. We've got our uh, iced butter bear, which is a uh, butterscotch and caramel. It's a really fan favorite. Wow, okay. We've got hot chocolates. We have <gasps> teas and smoothies. Um, uh, then you can see our, our muffin assortment here. We got blueberry, our coffee cake muffin, cinnamon crumbly stuff. Wow. Lemon muffins. <laughs> we got our sandwiches. We make them all order to go, so like they're not like oh, frozen. So like so, we we mm. assemble it when you order, it, and we got some of our donut holes and macaroons. And Come on. We have a bunch of other type of grab yes. and goes type things wow. as well. Yes. Yeah. Now I yeah. see you're going to be making a little something. Yeah, what do you fix? <laughs> what do we got? So right here we have the fixins for our one of our energy blast drinks. Okay. It's our seasonal special for the summer. It's our paradise blast. All right. Um, so the paradise blast and all the energy drinks are based with sparkling water. All right. So we do a sparkling water base. Some calorie free bubbles. Some, Some calorie free it, bubbles. A, a little bit of a refresher too. for the summer. Yeah. My kids absolutely love this drink, and so I don't want to feed them caffeine either. And right. so, uh, anyway, so Penelope, my second, she absolutely loves this. And she, uh, so we can do this with and without caffeine. So oh, okay. great. So, yes. Okay. All right. So, so what, are some of the, what are some of the pumps you put in there, Leslie? Uh, so we put in our pear flavor. Yep. So we've got our pear flavor, okay. we've got our sour syrup, and we've got our sugar. Oh, all right. Um, and what we're missing right now in this one is the caffeine, but we can also add caffeine to it as well nice. to give you a little bit of that. an extra pick Julie, you want to get in there? Uh, sure. Oh, all right. Well, and what? sometimes okay. depending on the day, you don't want any more caffeine, but you want mm -hmm. a little pick-me-up yeah. or something. So yes, I'm excited. It's a little bit of a refresher, and we have more flavors. So we have the pear. Ooh. Okay. Um, we have a blue raspberry, which like is our that. ice scuba, which also has boba. Nice. We have a green apple and a dragon fruit. You got boba at a coffee shop. We have boba at a coffee shop. I like that. So, oh, that's cool. So that's yeah, what's kind of nice about us. Yeah, indeed. Mm -hmm. Yep. We, if you drink it, we, we most likely serve it. Yeah. So that's, uh, <laughs> most likely. <laughs> <laughs> Operative word. Most likely. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This yeah. is fabulous. Oh, yeah. Oh, what'd you bring here? What is this? This is so. This is one of our uh, limited time offer sandwiches. It's called our uh, cowboy ciabatta. Okay. Um, uh, so it's got beef, cheddar, and then it's a uh, kind of like a sweet. It and has spicy a habanero spice. jam in it. So. Oh, a little. Oh, so a little. Yeah. Bit of so kick. it's gonna be right. a little bit of kick in there. Mmm. Mm. This is the cowboy ciabatta. Mm. A little spicy. <laughs> oh, I, I like love that. Bit of kick. That's mm. Wow. This is delicious, and oh, I know yeah, that's great. people could come visit you this Wednesday for something special. That's correct, yep. Uh, uh, so uh, all of our Indianapolis locations, $2.99, uh, 20 ounce iced and uh, hot beverages. And then also, too, on the 21st of uh, June, uh, in Plainfield Library, we're going to be having a franchising seminar as well, okay. too, for those individuals that want to jump in on cool. the brand as well. Oh, nice. Help us expand. Well, guys, thank you yeah. so much for being here. You can yeah. check it out at BigB.com to find your local location, or, yeah, closest location. Yes. But definitely stop in if you're in the Sunnyside neighborhood and say hi to Leslie over there. Guys, thank you so much. <laughs> that was awesome. Love yeah, it. i got to stop in sometime. Oh, yeah. Thank, thank you. you. This yeah. was awesome. Thanks for oh, feeding thank us. Yeah, no problem. Amazing. <laughs> well, hey, it's time to chat next with our friends from Indie Humane. Welcome to CEO Donna <laughs> Casamento and Kelsey Minier. <laughs> She's an Indie Humane Foster to tell us how you can get involved during Foster a Pet Month and they've brought oh, some little fresh kittens. Yes, we're uh, not the only ones who are actually hungry today, Ryan. Yeah, I'll hold on. We are going to be Thank you. helping to feed these little oh, cuties. Boy. Oh my oh, goodness. Man. Hi guys, how you doing? Hi, good, how are you? Guys? Welcome. Listen to this little guy purring. Oh, would you mind introducing us to these little cutie pies? Yeah. 
Go this ahead, is Chelsea. Brookie. Mm -hmm. um, brookie. It's about two and a half, maybe almost three weeks. Okay. Um, definitely nice. needs to be fed uh, around the clock. Yes. Probably okay. every two to four hours for okay. bottle feeding. Yeah. Oh, wow. And Sounds Donna, good. who do you have? This is Vinny. 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 And what was what, Louis? Louis? Louis. Louis. And you've got Louis. Are these yeah. brothers? Louis. We believe they are. Okay. Yes, they are, they are brothers. They are about four weeks old. All right. They're a little bit older. These babies here, the older ones, are not bottle babies anymore. These are ones that, that are still eating gruel. Okay. Uh, so not quite solid food yet, but yeah. kind of the, the, oh, do you hear that meal? Uh, the in-between, yeah. So, so we get lots and lots of these this time of year. Really? Yes. Oh, so many. Okay. Well, and this mm -hmm. technique that we're seeing here is very important. So you said this happens around the clock? Yeah, every two to four hours, depending on the age. Wow. Um, and this will need to be done until they're able to take wet food oh, on their own. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this was a kitty that came into it without its mom. Oh. And that's why we get a lot of those that are coming in uh, during this time of year that the mom has been lost from them for one reason or another. And often we don't know, they've just been found. Oh. And all of these guys, and if they're gonna survive, they need this kind of intensive foster yeah. care to be able to feed them. And how long have you been fostering? I've been fostering since 2018. Okay. Um, and I just love taking on the bottle babies. I yeah. work from home, so okay. it's been really a uh, nice adjustment. That's so, great. Yeah, it's great. How could someone become a foster and help? Yeah, it's very easy to become a foster. You can go to our website, which is indiehumane.org slash foster. You can complete an offer application and our team will get back to you and get you all set up and we give you all of the equipment that you need. We give you the training to learn how to foster them and you can become a, an, an ace foster like Kelsey yeah. here uh, with just so, some training and consistency and then you've got a support team there to help you should you have any questions That's along great. the way. Oh my goodness, Ryan and I have just been passing this little sweetheart yeah. back and forth doing so well. Yeah. These okay. little ones need a home. Yeah. I'm sure mm -hmm. there's people out there who are thinking, I would love to take one of these little guys home. What would, what would they need to do? Yeah. Well, well, to foster, as I said, you, you can just complete the application and we'll let you foster them. Now, when they're, when they're old enough at eight weeks old, that's when they're ready to be adopted. Once yeah. they're a few pounds and we can get them spayed or neutered and have them up to date on all their vaccines and microchip, that's when they're available to go to their permanent home. In the, okay. But in the interim, we need and couldn't do this without as many fosters as, as we have in our ranks, and we need more fosters to help with this process. Oh, yeah, with June being National Foster Pet Month, oh, thank you. Yeah. This is the time to maybe try it out and see if you'd like to do this. Right, absolutely. You know, and if you try it out and it, and it maybe isn't for you, there's no shame in that. Just sure. to help us out, there's other ways that you can help. But we'd love to have you join us in this effort and get just nothing better than just being able to sit around and snuggle yeah. kitties. Oh now, if someone already has cats in the home, would these little fellas fit in well with that? Or would you recommend a foster doesn't have any other animals there? Or is it kind of situation dependent? So you can have other pets in your home. Okay. Uh, we just re recommend that you keep them separate for at least a couple weeks just to make okay. sure that you're not um, bringing in any infectious sure. diseases yeah. into the home. Because these make guys sure don't that... have their shots yet, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And they may come in and appear healthy, but it takes a few days sometimes for, yeah. for if they've got an upper respiratory infection brewing that we may not know. Yeah, sure. And so we want to just keep your pets okay. safe too, and you just pass that time period, and then it's good to have the, your pets around them whenever possible to uh, kind of help them learn the ropes of how to be a pet. That's great. Oh Especially since they don't have their moms with them yeah. to help them out. They so need sad. that comfort mm -hmm. and stability, and they can feel it when, when you care and you're there for yes. them. So. Mm -hmm. A reminder in general, if people just want to support all your efforts, how can they find you? Well, they can go to indiehumane.org. They can stop by the shelter. We're open from 12 to 7 and 12 to 6 on the weekends. Uh, just to, there's so many ways. Just go to the website, figure out the, the way that you want to help. And he's just burrowing. Gonna, he's burrowing. He's burrowing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, oh, he's, he's suckling like he's he's nibbling on my hair. This oh, is nice. really cute. Uh, oh, it feels TV really cute. Uh, but just just come by and help us. We can you can donate to us. You can foster. You can adopt. All sorts of things you can do to help out. Great. Well, thank, thank you, you so, so much for bringing much. these little guys here. If you're interested in adopting one of these cute little guys, um, please do. They they uh, they have they've got a need for some loving homes. They and do. ladies, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank we you can so just much. feel our like serotonin boosting. Oh, I mean, just this is just all kinds. Oh of my goodness. <laughs> thank you so much. They are so adorable. Thank yeah, you. Guys. Thank you for having us. Thanks. Thank, thank you. you.
still to come, our friends from the Fresh Market are here. They have some of their sweets and their meats that you can give to dad for Father's Day. Plus, we're playing the Indie Now Pop Quiz in a bit. We want you to join us for all that fun. We'll be right back, friends. Stick around. Some days you wake up and nothing works, you feel surrounded. Gotta give your feet some gravity.